Time now just coming up to a quarter past eight and as cross-border battles continue, there are signs of something of a rapprochement between the UK and the European Union. After weeks of angry exchanges over coronavirus vaccine supplies, the two sides last night issued a statement suggesting their differences could be resolved, that they'd work together to strike a win-win deal. Kathleen van Bremt is a Belgian MEP and trade coordinator for the Socialist and Democrats group. Good morning to you. Good morning. So we got this statement last night that said that both sides would work together for a win-win deal. And yet we still have today's meeting of ministers where they're being asked to push ahead with the plans to allow tighter control of vaccine exports. I'm having difficult difficulty squaring that circle. They seem contradictory. It is, absolutely. Um, and I'm not in favour of, of, of uh, installing a new authorization scheme that is tougher and that can be interpreted as a possible ban on vaccines coming from Europe. Um, I think the only way out is to have an agreement uh, with the UK government over the AstraZeneca uh, vaccines uh, because, of course, there is a problem uh, and it's, it's high time that everybody acknowledges that. Um, there is an imbalance between um, AstraZeneca vaccines going to the UK um, and none of the vaccines coming back from the UK to the EU. Uh, so is um, this a problem with the UK government per se or is it a problem with no, AstraZeneca? It's a problem, well, it's mainly a problem with AstraZeneca. We have multiple problems with AstraZeneca um, from the start, I have to say. Um, um, I don't think that um, AstraZeneca is playing the, the game as they should. Um, uh, they they have an agreement with EU and with the UK. And if they have problem problems with production, which is possible. Eh? It's, it's a difficult situation for everybody and, and it's an unseen situation. Um, but if they have problems with production, then there should be an equal um, um, distribution of vaccines between both of them regarding the contract. And you cannot push all the vaccines to the UK and leave only one third um, of the promised uh, uh, vaccines uh, in the EU. So there's a big imbalance and that well, needs to be addressed. But the only way to address it... Well, what is it, the, the issue with the contracts? So because the, the UK Health Secretary is quoted um, quite a lot in the, in the Financial Times mm, this morning mm, mm. And, and he says that um, that they that the, the EU has a best efforts contract and that the UK has an exclusivity deal. And in, in under contract law, um, the UK contract trumps the EU contract. Well, <laughs> that is amazing. And I'm not a lawyer. And I think um, uh, a lot of uh, very intelligent lawyers uh, should uh, put some light on that issue. But with some common sense, you could say that these two contracts are then in contradiction with each other. You cannot have an exclusive uh, contract with the UK and an engagement with the EU because two of the four sites that make the productions are within the EU. Mm. And so it's, it's, it's not, it's not a fair way of dealing with, uh, with the issue. And, and that's why the Commission is, um, toughening up their position. So how can a deal be struck where we are at the moment? Well, it's not so difficult, I think. Um, the only way out is um, uh, improving the vaccine production. And let me tell you, not just for you, the EU and the UK. Uh, I've been told that the UK are now um, taking over uh, vaccines from India. Personally, I think that's a disgrace. Um, uh, India should vaccine, uh, vaccines production should be for India and for other countries that still don't have any vaccine at all. Well, actually, so, we're report, there were reports uh, in, in, right on vaccine way. exports from the Serum Institute of India, um, which means that actually an awful lot of these discussions in Europe might be tinkering around the edges when the vast majority of this vaccination is being made in India. Voila. So that, that's, um, that's, of course, because um, we're all dealing with this rather selfish, um, uh, the UK and the EU. So the only way out is um, um, ramping up production, which is possible. Uh, that should have been the way forward from the start, but also dealing with fair distribution between EU and UK, but also with the rest of the world. Um, and I think if you explain that to the public, people will understand. There may be those though, that say that the UK government got its game in order first. It put the orders in first, it got there first, therefore it gets the supplies first. 
well, that's a very selfish way of looking at things, isn't it? Um, it's it's uh, their, their way in order. If you if you try to get vaccines from India, it's not getting your way in order. But um, uh, well, maybe using all the power that you have and the money that you have to get as much vaccines as possible. That is that is that's a game you can play. I'm I'm quite um, I'm quite okay with the fact that th- that should not be the the way we we play as Europeans. Um, what's the, what's uh, the worst European case scenario if, if this um, uh, trade uh, ban is is put in place for for um, exports <laughs> of, of vaccines from um, the the EU to the UK? Well, the worst case scenario is um, that um, uh, Europe will not um, ramp up its production because uh, the UK will will block ingredients that we need for our vaccines and um, and the UK will not get extra vaccines because there will be a ban coming from Europe and from um, the rest of the world and everything will slow down that is that is the real issue everything will slow down the only way out is via fairness and cooperation is all of this going to damage relations in the longer term do you think oh it's a very difficult question. Um, it's um, I've been so sad about everything that happened since uh, the Brexit referendum, um, uh, and this is not adding up to some happiness about that. Uh, um, I think um, if you look to all the things that we need to manage in the world, uh, just take China for instance. Uh, we've, we, that was good this week. We teamed up together, UK, AU, US. Um, on sanctions towards China, um, not, and, and I think that's the way forward. We're both democracies. We we share absolutely the same values. Um, uh, we should uh, team up to ta- to tackle uh, all the challenges ahead of us: vaccines, pandemias, democracy, rule of law, climate. Kathleen van Bremt, uh, Belgian MEP and the trade coordinator for the Socialist and Democrats uh, group.